Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. So we're here in Konigsmund with a really, really nice amount of money at the moment. Um, there's a contract here, which is to track down thieves. Ooh. Sure, I'll take an extra 300 crowns. Um, plus, we'll get Konigsmund to like us more, which is always useful. Um, while we're here, this is probably not a good place to buy things, because they're going to charge us a lot of money for most of the stuff we want. Um... Yeah, I think we'll find somewhere else to buy stuff, but if there's any good recruits here, maybe. Eh, none of these people are worth buying from this town. Let's see if we can get some other ones somewhere else. Either way, let's go track these thieves down, and then we will uh, go find somewhere that has an armory or something. Or an armor, sorry. Uh, there's got to be somewhere with an armor, sir, surely. Or weapon smith or something. Fletcher. There we go. Alright, so we want to go up to Farnfest. Which is great, because that's right near some, some small towns that we can stop at along the way. Either way, Thieves tracks west of Konigsman. There they are. Oh. Uh, you find a boy and girl looking up a tree. The girl throws her hands up. There is a cat in the tree. Uh, Ortwin has something up his sleeve. Ortwin snaps his finger. Oh, Ortwin's got a really thick accent. <laughs> I've a plan. The rat catcher takes a rat out of his pocket. You had no idea he even had. Chirping his lips like a mewling cat himself, he holds a little rodent up. The cat takes notice, perking in his ears. He's just gonna feed the rat. I'm just gonna feed the cat. Um. Oh no. As the cat descends, Ortwin holds his friend out a little more. He begins to scrape and scuttle against his hands, perhaps not trusting its master to keep it. But the moment the cat lunges for the meal, the rat catcher pockets the rat and snags the cat all in one swift motion. The children clap and cheer as he hands the cat over. Even some of the men are impressed by the fellow's feline-like reflexes. Ooh, Orton got a plus two initiative and is in good spirits. That's actually really good. Okay, we found the thieves. It is some brigand thugs, who we actually have outnumbered, so this is not... This should not be particularly difficult. This was... I wasn't really expecting it to be. This is a one-skull contract. Wow, yeah. Alright, so what do we got here? Um, pickaxe needs to go away. That... The daggers are something of a concern, and I guess that reinforced flail is all. Oh, Dieter's got a pierced arm muscle as well. Ugh, that's that's rough, but we should be okay. Um, so they're going to advance into us because they don't have any range, which is fine by me. It's just an opportunity to pepper them with arrows and then uh, advance out into them. Yeah, let's see if we can kill one off the bat. Nice. That'll be a good hit tomorrow. All right, Anselm, you can just go fight this guy. Everybody else can just wait. Oh, missed both of those, but that's fine. Keep waiting. They're gonna come to us. Ah, damn. Some of them have to uh, scuttle around terrain. Just slowing them up a little bit. Alright, but they're all here now. Hi. Ah. Unfortunate, but we are suffering some uh, reduced weapon skill here, so not unexpected. Whack. Great. Just keep piling in. Um, so we can actually just fire into the back line here. Ah, we missed. Alright, that's fine. Let's deal with the unarmored ones first. That's the easiest choice. Sigbold can actually get his pokey stick out. Get stuck in here. Oh, alright. Yeah. Okay, reinforced fellow man misses both of his attacks, which is hopefully yep, the last attack he's going to get to make. And then the rest of them break. Alright, well, let's just, uh, kill the rest of these dudes. I don't need to do anything with my archers at this point. Heck. Yeah, they're, I don't think they're make it particularly far here. Nope, don't need you, don't need you. Nice. Alright, that was pretty clean. Baldur took a tiny, tiny bit of damage, which mostly went to his armor. Um, we got spear, which is nice. We got some extra daggers, which is always good. Spare shields. Oh, and blotch gamisons are actually quite good. Thank you. They're all dead. Um, okay, so people leveled up. Anselm, you are... can't remember what I was doing. Oh, that's right, I was just going to suck up the fact that you don't have any melee stars because you've got pretty good stars and other things, but you want dodge. 
we go, and then melee skill, melee defense, and initiative. Yep. Now, the blotched gambeson that we got is a little bit better than the regular gambeson. So we should hand this off to Balder. Malta. Ooh. Ooh, Malta's. Malta gets flail mastery. Yes. Give me that. If we can get Malta a two-handed flail, I'd be pretty happy. Um, now, everybody in the front row should be carrying daggers as a backup at this point. Or at least as many people as we can get out. There we go. Uh, do I have one more dagger somewhere? I do not. Okay, that's fine. That is a okay. And everybody in the back line has a reach weapon. Gerald does not. He can have a pitchfork. Although his hunting bow is much more useful than that. Swap you guys around a little bit. Okay. I guess that about covers it. Let's go uh, get paid for our troubles and then travel on up to Sandwalked, I guess. Oh, is that a keep? Never mind. We're going to pass by Sandwalked. We're going to go up to Allersdorf. Okay, we got our 300 crowns. They are currently very friendly towards us, which means we can now almost but not quite get things for an okay price. Ugh, buying things in big trade towns is such a pain. We have enough provisions to make it to Sandwalk, so we're just gonna leave it there. Oh, actually, hang on. We can maybe sell some of this junk that we're lugging around. Because our inventory is uh, kind of filling up here. Yeah, we can sell some of this like beast stuff that we're... Uh, we don't really need to. Yeah, you know, I think we're just going to hold on to it for now. We'll, may as well. While well, we've got inventory space, we can ditch it later. Okay, Allersdorf has some work for us. They want us to deal with some brigands, but before we do that... Okay, good. They're willing to sell us food for really, really cheap, which is great, because we need that. Ooh, this place is... Oh, this place has so much stuff going on. All right, I love it. Now, contract, something about brigands. Um... If you can stop these brigands, they'll be paid handsomely. He's willing to pass a lot of money for this. I'm going to accept that. Defend Allersdorf and its outskirts from raiding parties. Oh, this is going to be a little bit, isn't it? Um, hang on. Let's... So I want to do this contract because it pays really well. But before we do it, we're going to run up to the fort up the road that I wanted to go to. So that we can stock up on gear and tools and whatnot. Hopefully. We should be able to get tools somewhere that has an armor and a weaponsmith. All right, let's see what kind of kit we can pick up here. Ah, uh, ooh, hats, padded leather, always good. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna bother buying another dagger. If we if we pick one up, that's fine, but I'm not gonna bother paying out for one. Ah, uh, damn, this stuff's actually kind of expensive here. All right, well, either way, um, padded leather's always good. I will take a proper helmet we can hand out. I will take. Do I have acting? full actin caps on everybody in the front line yet? I don't. Alright, so grabbing a couple of those is probably worth it. Now, the padded leather can go to Balder, I suppose. Yes, there you go. And then you can have a blotched gambeson. Our front line is now all pretty well kitted out for armor. Um, and we'll grab these two actin caps. That should not quite fill out our, uh, our needs for hats in the front line, although you can have this now. Boom. That's a nice hat for you. Um, and then we can start handing out... Who's been here the longest? Malta. You can have the male coif. And then we actually have three full actin caps here, which means everybody in the back line gets a regular actin cap. And we can actually start handing out proper gambesons to the back line as well. Which is always good. Nice. Some good equipment right there. Um... We are going to need the tools, so I'm just going to have to grab one of these. And then I doubt we're going to find anything that we can buy in the weaponsmith. But it's worth checking out while we're here. Yeah, this is all uh, just a teensy bit out of our price range at the moment. That's all right. Our, our kit's looking pretty okay for the moment. All right, let's go back and see about taking that uh, defend the village from brigands contract. Yeah, I mean, we can just grab it in the middle of the night. There's no real reason for us to wait. And then we're basically just camping here, and waiting until somebody says, hey, there's brigands coming. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm reasonably certain that we get a warning when the brigands are coming.
Brigands are in sight. Prepare for battle. Okay, let's... Um, where are they exactly? What? Um, while camping beside the road, a colorful wagon trundles up with some sort of clanking, jingling musical immodesty. You didn't think a particularly big cart, but about 15 men and women inexplicably pour out of its back. Um, we're good, thanks. We don't need to pay for anything right now. Where are these brigands? There they are. Okay. So, this is a reasonably threatening force of brigands, but I think we got this. We just gotta, we gotta deal with that, um, that marksman. Who hopefully is not the one with the hunting bow. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, they should come to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So we technically have a range advantage here. They should come to us. Aw, oh, Dieter's arm muscle still doesn't heal. Damn it. Okay. I was hoping that would have sorted itself out, but uh, I'm worried about this guy. Okay, he's targeting some chumps. Let's try and focus the guy with the flail down, because I don't like him. Nope, we missed two. Okay, yeah, they are advancing towards us. Great. This is what we want. Okay, again, guy with the flail is target number one. Nope. Nobody's doing well today. Okay, Anselm, get up here. That guy a quick whack for me. Poacher is taking the high ground, which is unfortunate, but not a huge problem. Okay, they're all coming up here. You know, Gerald, I feel like you may as well just get your reach weapon out. I don't think the uh, staff thing is going to do much good, and then you can just hold for a second, because we're going to advance into these dudes. Okay. Big X-Man is also a concern, but a smaller one. Um, in fact... No, I think we're better off piling everyone into melee and, uh... Just trying to kill everyone here. Boom. I was gonna say maybe we could have Malta go around to try and deal with their archers, but... I think we're better served having our flail up here where all the shields are. There we go. That's a good hit to morale right there. And then Malta... Just put that guy down, thanks. Wow, alright, we already broke one of the, uh... One of the actual raiders. Okay, Marksman continues to miss. Flail guy is in. Oof. Alright. That's a hit. Alright, Anselm... That guy up there fighting Anselm is playing defense, but I don't actually care about that. Um, there. That's that's fine. I'm not going to bother putting any more pressure on that. You are now in range, though. Ah, still missing. Okay, the next dude is... Ow! Rude. Okay, continue targeting that Marksman. Nope, missed. Okay, that's fine. This guy's running, but any damage we can get on him is always good. Okay, fill in the gap there. Let's try and get Pickaxe Man to leave us alone. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Over here. Here we go. Getting some good hits on that guy, but not quite enough just yet, unfortunately. Okay. This guy's trying to run. He's not making it very far. Um, every time that marksman gets to shoot is a uh, pretty serious threat. Okay, that guy's just continuing to play defense, so why don't you just wait and see if he stops doing that. Okay, well, we've shredded his helmet, which is great. There we go. Oof, alright, I really need to deal with that guy. He's causing me problems. Okay, short sword man is no longer playing defense. Excellent. Marksman is down. Double excellent. That guy's still up. Poacher can keep doing whatever the hell he's doing this time. I don't care about him. There we go. Got rid of pickaxe man before he got a chance to do anything. And now... Great. Okay. So this guy's surrounded. This guy's also surrounded. He goes down. His friend's running. Okay. So all we gotta worry about is this dude who is acting... After Malta, which is great. Because Malta does a ton of damage. Um, Gerald, you can also join in this fray. Thank you. Fact. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we should have people pull out their daggers now, shouldn't we? Try and steal this dude's gear, because he's actually got, uh, pretty good stuff going on. Alright, everybody. Knives out. Just get around this dude. Um, yeah, just... This guy I care less about. Uh, there is still a poacher up there who I guess, like, I can't, uh, I can't intentionally target empty spaces. He seems to be leaving, though. Alright, Malta. Knife out. Give this dude a quick puncture. Thank you. Nice. Oh, we might get his flail. Oh, that would be beautiful. Well, 
Last dude's still standing. Time to uh, get your daggers out, boys. There we go. Good hit. Okay, everybody just pile in on this guy. We're gonna mess him up. I'm not sure if my dudes will. Um, hmm. I don't know that I can stop him from retreating. No, I can't move far enough, unfortunately. All right, he's gonna try to run, and I don't think my dudes are gonna use puncture. So, yeah, his, his armor's gone. Well, we may as well see what we can get out of this. There we go. All right, that fight's over. Let's see what we managed to get loot-wise. Got two level ups, which is great. Yes. Oh, yes. We got stuff. I love it. We got another dagger. We got another hunting bow. We got some male armor. Nice. All nice. Take all of that. All right. We're going to have to start selling some of this spare junk that we're carrying around, though. That's fine. We can do that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, let's do our level ups before we forget. Portman, thank you. Um, what are you? Spear and shield tank? Alright, so you want shield expert. Actually, you want... Hmm, shield expert or taunt? Taunt is probably more valuable. There we go, and then plus melee defense, plus hit points, plus fatigue. Great. Gerald! I don't really know what I'm doing with you. Oh, right, you have really good resolve. I want to make you into a sergeant. Or a backup sergeant, potentially. There you go, take that, um, take plus both of these, plus that. There you go, you're a pretty good all-rounder. Now, this means Sigbold can have a hunting bow, and Gerald can have a short bow, which I don't have arrows for, never mind. We can hold on to the short bow, though. Give it to Gerald once we have arrows. Uh, otherwise, we now have a nice, fancy male surcoat, male shirt, which is better than the Lamellar. Uh, the Lamellar then can go to Malta, who I'm... I want to get a two-handed flail for Malta. His melee defense... If I take his shield off, his melee defense is not that great, though, right? But then he does get the two-handed bonus for his uh, flail. I think we'll just wait until we find a proper two-handed flail to do that. And that means everybody in the front line can now have padded leather. Um, yes, Steeter can have this. Malta can have this. Malecoif can go to Haribert? Baldur's the next most senior. Great. Anything else that needs doing? Oh, we did get a spare dagger, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, who does not have a dagger? Malta does not have a dagger. Great. Malta has a dagger. Everybody in the back line has a reach weapon and a dagger. Wow, we have a lot of daggers. All right. What do you got for me, Alarsorf? 970 crowns. Wow, that was pretty good, all things considered. Oh, they're still being raided. Or has been recently raided. Okay. Um, that's a shame. Everything we could buy here is expensive now, unfortunately. Well, I say it's probably a good opportunity to run back up to, um, uh, whatchamacallums, the town that we were just at that has all the fancy gear, and see if we can buy anything now that we once again have a lot of spare money. Um, we'll stop at Ivendorf along the way just to see if they have anything going on. Ivendorf does have a contract for us and has literally nothing in town. Um, but we have a bunch of spare gear. And we can hire someone. Do we have a monk yet? Because monks are super useful. No, no, uh, yes, we do have a monk. What else we got? We got beggar, we got a farmer, day tailors. I'll just hire another monk. Monks are pretty good. Always good to have around. Uh, I need someone for the back line right now. but I don't really have any equipment for them. All right, well, our monk has really good stats for not dying, which I like. He also has Dastard, which is a shame. All right, well, um, let's give you these. Uh, we'll give you a shield. We will give you... Could give you a spear. But star and melee skill, I don't think I want to waste on a spearman. Uh, what do I need? We could use someone who uses a blunt weapon, actually. Is there a difference between hammers and maces as far as perks are concerned? Hammer mastery? Yes, there is. Okay. Alright, well. 
for now, you are going to stand in the front line. And that's actually our front line full, right? I want our last two guys to be backliners. Um, which we're unlikely to get here. But what is this contract? Somebody wants to talk to me. Some guy wants to track down some brigands. Sure. I do a lot of tracking down brigands. I'm getting quite good at it. 480 crowns. Sure. All sounds great, my dude. Oh, we're going to need more tools, but we'll pick those up at the, uh, at the fort when we stop there. This place is just chock full of brigands. Okay, some brigand raiders. And fortunately, we didn't pull the other company of brigands into our little fight here. That would have been uh, 15 brigands at once. Oh, oh, and we're on pretty level ground as well. I thought we were going to be fighting in the hills, but I'm, I'll take it. Um, they don't have any range, so they're coming to us. We can just chill out back here. Um, I want Flail Man dead pretty badly. So I'm actually going to hold my archers until those guys come out to meet us. Ah, oh, they're moving into the wood line. Hmm, rude. Uh, I'm actually going to have Anselm go hold this bit of high ground here. I would have Harold do it, but he's level 1 and already wavering, so I think I'm going to pass on that. And then Anselm can just end his turn, because no one's going to reach him this turn. Okay, good. That's what I'm looking for. People coming out to meet me. Sort of. They're mostly in cover, which is a bit of a shame, but they've all moved now, so we can pile into them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, you're going all the way around. Uh, actually, there's dudes in this brush here, so let's move you up a little bit. Because Baldur's going to move up and he's going to be able to attack this guy. But then Haribert and Malta aren't, so we're just going to move them up a little bit. So they can hold on to their uh, stuff. I wish I could force attack these squares, because that would give me a really good chance of hitting something at least. Either way. It's not bad, all things considering. And his shield twice is pretty good for a uh, for a staff sling. Good hit. Um, okay, Anselm's not going anywhere, but we may as well step in and ah, no, no luck there. Okay, Herbert, you're coming up here. Uh, if I have you shield wall, these guys are all gonna pile out this side, aren't they? Eh, not the worst plan. Alright, um, we have a bunch of spare shields, so I'm actually okay with just starting to crack these dudes' shields up. Give us an easier, uh, easier time hitting them. Bunk! Okay, and then you can step in, and you are going to make sure that this dude attacks you, not anyone else. And Sigbold, I'm actually just gonna have you get your... I'm just gonna start breaking out the, uh... Reach weapons here and go in for the... Uh, wow! Okay, well, I guess taunting that dude didn't do anything for me. Alright, Flailman needs to die, because now he's two-handing his weapon, which is hurting us quite a bit. Anselm, you can come down here. You're going to play defense. One, two, three, four... So there's a fifth one in this hedgerow somewhere. Um, I'm going to have Malta just step forward a little bit and then wait, because someone's... Oh, no, he's throwing... Okay, we should pile in then. We're taking some damage. We're really going to need to buy some tools when we get done with this. But that's fine. We have money for it. Okay, focus down these guys in the middle. Just have everybody get their uh, reach weapons out here. Okay. Oh, and he's broken. Uh, he's not going anywhere, though. His friends might use this opportunity to pull him out of the fight, which would be a shame. Well, they are rapidly dying. And... Ah, he's still alive. Okay. Well, getting around these dudes. If we can surround them, then we'll be in a uh, pretty good spot to stop them from pulling their friend out. Ah, he's still alive. Yep, there it is. Alright, we need to... I want to stop him from getting away, because I want his flail if we can. There we go. Okay, great. Good work, Gordwin. Nice. Nice. Alright, they're all broken. You know what that means? Time for daggers. Now you guys can just chill out. Okay. Dagger. Um, just try and puncture this. Oh, his armor's already completely scrapped. Never mind. This isn't getting us anywhere. We might as well do it while they're all running away. Maybe get some cool stuff out of it. Like helmets and things. We could always use helmets. Do you have a oh, Harold doesn't have a dagger. 
Eh. That's fine. Yeah, they're not using they don't use puncture when they're uh making their opportunity attacks. Which is a shame. Don't bother, don't bother. Dagger and let's this guy's armor is still mostly intact, so let's focus on him. Well, those of you who can reach him. There we go. Ugh, so close. I care less about... Actually, that guy's got a helmet that I kind of want. Can we chase him, maybe? Can we catch him? Because that would be swell. Okay, good. Get into melee with him. There we go. Alright, everybody chase this dude down. We're going to see if we can nab his helmet. Still intact. Everybody run after him. Ah, oh, you're too fatigued to do anything? Alright. Or too fatigued to do the thing that I want you to do at least. That's right, we got a bunch of people around him now. No, oh, don't damage his helmet. I need that helmet. Well, I don't need it. Be nice to have though. Yeah! Alright. Alder got a level up. We got, yes, we got two helmets. We got two male coats. We got a coif. We got a bunch of maces. Very nice. All right, take all those. Dole some of that stuff out to our uh, to our team. Thank you. Let's collect our pay. There's some other brigands over there, but I don't think it's worth fighting them right now. Okay, Balder, you, my good man. Hmm, what do I want to do with you? That's a good question. That is a good question. I am absolutely 100% not sure what to give him at this level. I'll give you dodge, but your initiative's not that great. I might just give you shield expert, and then you can uh, repost and shield at the same time. There you go. Just defend yourself. Um, oh, right, you get uh, stats as well. Melee skill, melee defense, and resolve is always good, but probably not worth taking in this instance. Hmm. Eh, screw it. Resolve. Resolve's nice to have, I suppose. Now, we have some gear to hand out. For example, Harold should be carrying a knife, so he can help us out when we're trying to steal armor. Um, Harold doesn't... I guess we can give Harold a proper mace now we've got two of them floating around. There you go. Anything else that I really... Oh, right, we have helmets and things to give out. Okay, so the nasal helms are, I think, not quite as good as the flat helms. But that's fine, because we can just hand them out to people that I like. Herbert. There we go, and then male coifs. Boom, boom. And this is the same as this. Okay. Take that. Take that. Lamellar goes to you. Lamellar goes to you. Oh. oh, I didn't have another Lamellar thing. That's right. That's fine. The undamaged padded leather can go to him, but uh, I do want to keep that repaired. I also want to keep these shields repaired, so we have a bunch of spares lying around, just in case we ever need them. Alright, I think that about does it for gear we wanted to hand out. I'd love to get another two-handed weapon fighter. I'm debating just giving Harold a two-handed weapon. Since I can... Well, I'll wait till he levels up and has nine lives, and then hopefully I can bump his, uh, his base melee defense as well. Either way, let's go get paid for our uh, for our troubles here. Okay, we got our 480 crowns. Ivandorf has no more work for us, and that, I think, is a good place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.